Hello and welcome back to the Lands of Ascendancy series that I'm doing with Exolances, who is sitting in my chair. She started a call right now. We are not in a call right now because we are actually going to be doing our separate things for today. I will be doing some industry and uh, stuff and looks like she wants the door closed. Um, hmm. Fun. Anyways, <laughs> yes, we will be doing our separate things here and... Uh, there we go. And uh, <laughs> why? And today we will be starting, you and me will be starting the industry stuff because I've been doing some planning and there are some stuff that we, this dodo out here is out my window. Uh, we will be starting the industry stuff because there is some specific things that we need to get ready and get going before we can actually start doing some major industry stuff. So we are gonna be getting into that but first i just want to show you that i did that i did decorate my house just a bit here as you can see i have a bed i have a, f a fish apparently um i have my backpacks here i have a desk and i have images showing both of our logos well i still did update hers so i need to uh, change that but anyways i i like i like that picture though so i i might keep it but anyways that's just what i did here but we won't be doing any work in here today we will be focusing on um, immersive engineering. So I'm going to take this backpack on and we're going to get... Okay. We are going to get started right away. Hello, you. Yes, you right there. Yes, hi, I'm from the future. I got a quick message for you. It's from our sponsor for the series, MC Pro Hosting. They are one of the world's biggest game server hosting providers with over half a million happy customers. They provide easy hosting for games such as Minecraft, Ark Survival, Starbound and more. So if you want your own server and want to support this series, be sure to use our link below down in the description. Alright, I'll, I'll let you watch the rest of the video now. Sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, go behind here and uh, yeah. See ya. So we, I have a list of eight items here. Let me just pull up my list it's over here somewhere there we go so basically what we want to make is a machine that makes uh, this stuff over here this stuff because the reason why we want to make this is because we will get creosote creosote oil which is going to be very important in the future to make treated wood planks which we will need for quite a few things but not only that we want to make steel which is done by using either coal coke or charcoal and because we want the creosote oil and in that process we get the coal coke it would be stupid not to use the coal coke that we get from creating the creosote oil hopefully that made sense so we need to set up a few machines out here now we don't have a we don't have an actual base just yet and she's just looking at the butterfly that's that's fun um we don't have our actual base set up yet so i will just place this outside somewhere on the beach I think maybe over here over there we'll find out but first we need to be doing a bunch of crafting so that we have everything that we need including some smelting so first off I will be needing to get a bunch of clay to make some bricks now this hopefully should be enough right here I'm gonna just go ahead and smelt this while we prepare the other stuff now I was on the hunt for some of this stuff industrial herb herb fiber and we actually have some growing over here because well i was searching around to punch grass because i didn't want to ruin this grass here to find the stupid seed but now we have plenty of it over here and the reason why we want this is because we want to create a specific type of conveyor belt when we want to do this um so yes that's why we want some of this industrial fiber herb fiber here so now we have plenty of that all right cool so i have my coal right here and this here and we have the crystal oil here and that there okay so we need to be making some conveyor belts and for this we want two different ones now the first setup that we're going to make is not going to be that automated it's going to be half automated but some of the process will be manual until we actually get some steel then we can start really at me automating this thing and we'll update it in the future but right now we need eight of these conveyor belts um which is basically just three leather some iron and some redstone so i'm gonna just get this get a couple of blocks of this and i need he hello i need some i'm just gonna take all of this so we basically need 
this right here and there. So that is the eight conveyor belts. Then we need two extracting conveyor belts, which is basically this one. And you can see this is a little bit more tricky because we need the strip curtains and the iron mechanical component and the treated wood planks. Now we can make that very easily. What is that? The bug habitat. Oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to take this because we will be needing some treated wood planks. Now don't tell me we already have some. No, we do not. Okay, cool. So basically you just surround a bottle of this with this and uh, we get this, which is cool. So now we have that. Now we need some iron mechanical components and now we need some to make these iron plates, which we make with the hammer. So I have this iron right here. We need four. So we basically just put these in here and the hammer and boom, boom, boom. It will use up the hammer, but we can make another one if needed. So we need to make this and this. And so we need copper. Get this. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to make some, some extra just because we can. So get these awesome. And then surround it with this because we will be needing whoops wrong. We will be needing more of these. So the strip curtains. Now it is made like this and we need some iron rods. The tough fabric is made like this and some sort of sticks. So now we need this stuff. So round it. And I think we need like, I don't know how much. Okay. So it just makes that we might not have enough. We might only have enough for one to begin with, which is fine. Uh, now we just need the iron rods. Yes, which is made like that. And she is trying to kill me. That is not nice. Okay, so, ooh, okay, that is plenty. That is plenty. You know, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Catch. <laughs> okay, now our inventory will very fast begin to, um, to get, uh, yeah, a little bit messy. Okay, but we should be good to go. And there we go. And that cool. So now we have that. Now we just need to make a couple more of these normal conveyor belts because we used some to make the other ones, but that's fine. We will be needing a lot more in the future. So I'm just drop all of this stuff in here because we don't need that, that or this. Okay, cool. So that's just two of the things that we need. Then we need two chests, which we should already have. Yes. Nope. Those are trapped chests. You know what? Those can work as well. Let's, oh, wait, we have two normal ones. Let's, let's, let's use those. Let's sleep first and we'll continue. <laughs> okay. So now we need some treated wood fence. We need, I believe four of this. We also do need to make some treated sticks. Nope. We can't do that. We have to use this. Okay, cool. So do that and treated wood fence. Awesome. Now we need two fluid pumps. Now you will be asking, why do we need fluid pumps? Well, we could put in all of the creosote oil that we, that we need into glass bottles, but that would require us having a bunch of glass bottles at the ready. So we're going to make some fluid pump and a ginormous tank to store the fluid in. So for that, we need a bunch of fluid pipes and that is basically just a ton of iron. And so I'm gonna make this now. I will not make all of them right away. I'll make them when we need them, but I think this should be enough. Hopefully if not, we'll make more. Okay, cool. So now let's see. I need some more metal plates. We have that now. We just need this, which is more metal plates. So let me just uh, do this and uh, I'll be back in a moment. And here we go. Two fluid pumps. Perfect. Now what we will need on the list here will be okay. Now we need some of the interesting stuff, which will, which we should probably have begin with, but we need the Coke oven, which for this, we need some sand and we need the bricks. So we need this. This is basically a multi-block that we will be needing. So we will be needing nine. Uh, let me think nine, 18, actually, uh, I might not have enough breaks. Please tell me we have sand. We do not have enough sand. That's great. Now I need, now I need more sand. Okay. So I tell we'll be getting me the sand <laughs> so I can concentrate on the other stuff. So well, to get to that, we will be making the blast bricks, which should be a little bit easier to make blaze powder. We should have that. Yes, we do. 
cool. So for this, let's just convert all of that. And we need, we need the nether break, which we might need to speed up a little bit because uh, this is going to take forever. And here we go. Blast bricks. Now this is obviously not enough. So I will be making a bunch more nether bricks and um, I will be back once I have done so when I have enough. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, I think we are about to be ready to start actually building this thing. I'm just waiting for the bricks here to smelt so that I can make the last and final thing that I need for this project, which is the coke oven blocks, but that's gonna take a little while. You know what, I will even go as far as to say I will use coal, even though we need this coal to be turned into into the other, into the coal coke, but right now we need this done. But this will bake, smelt, whatever you wanna call it, while while we go ahead and build this thing. All right, so I require some flat place or flat grounds around here for this build. So right now, as a temporary solution, I will just be chopping this part of the tree down and I will remove the rest of it later on. Don't worry, I will not leave the tree like that. Only temporarily so that I can actually build what I'm supposed to here because I need a lot of space. But anyways, let us then get started. I think the first thing that we will make will be the fluid container or the fluid tank that will keep our oil. So, and the tell is just talking to her dodo. That's just, that's just wonderful, wonderful, right? I know, right? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Okay, so let us create the fluid container. So we need some, some treated fence here. So we just need to place it like that. And then we need a ton of... Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but we need quite a few. Let me just find the blocks. There we go. I should probably make a crafting station for this. And I believe you just do like this and you get iron sheet metal. Now, I don't remember how high this needs to be. So, and I can't find it in the in the recipe thing. So I'm gonna just make as many of these as I can and try and remember, but other than that, just keep trying. I have a feeling this is not quite big enough. So I'm gonna go up just one more and then cover it and then hope that it's right. Yes, it is perfect. So in immersive engineering, most of the machines are multi-block structures, which is basically a just structure that you just saw here where it's like literally you build it and then you click with the hammer and then it turns into this thing. This will be very cool to have because we will redirect all the creosote oil into this thing and then we will be able to get it from there when we need it. So I'm gonna remove this torch because now we need to make the actual Coke oven. So let me just get some more bricks and hopefully be able to make the first one. Okay, so now we need to build this. So this is the Coke oven and this is not okay, but you know what? Uh, I need need some blocks here. There we go. All right, cool. Again, this is not. This is only temporary because I we we would like to. You know what? I think I might rearrange this. Actually, hold on. This is the. This is only temporary. This is not a thing that will stay here because when we get our actual base going, I will move this inside the actual base. So this is just. I think to get us started. So I might actually move the entire thing over one. So I tell this just wondering what on earth I'm building over here and she asks if I land a spaceship over here. <laughs> okay, so now I moved it. Now I can actually make this thing. So now we will make the coke oven. My little is still confused even though I did tell her what I'm doing. Anyways, so <laughs> yeah, anyways. Basically this will just turn our coal into um, coal coke, and it will also create creosote oil, which we really, 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 really want. Now, basically what I then want is the coal coke to be transported into the blast, blast brick, or sorry, the blast furnace, which will then be used to create steel. But unfortunately, the first kind of blast furnace that we will be making will not have the ability to have items 
imported or inserted into them automatically. So we need to do that um, manually. So basically I will be using this extracting conveyor belt to extract the cold coke from this coke oven into using conveyor belts into a chest that will be located right here. So now the coal will insert that automatically, not automatically, manually, and that the coal coke will then be exported automatically into this chest. We will then need to insert the coal coke into the blast, blast furnace ourselves, which let us make it right now. I want to make it right over here. Now notice that we made the hollow one in there inside the coke oven because that is what that multi-block required. This one requires us to fill in the entire thing. So there we go, that should be it. The engineer's hammer out and just smack. And I can see all of this inside the engineer's manual. If I just go back here, back and into simple machines, it should be here somewhere. Let me just find it. There we go, crude blast furnace. So if I wanna know how to make the blast furnace, for example, I just click on this. It has a very good explanation and also shows you how to actually make the multi-block structure. I can pause it, I can move move up in the like layers and stuff. It's it's really cool, I love this book, and it helps you out a ton. But now that is made, this will not be automated. We will have to automatically, not automatically, manually put in the cold coke into this when we wanna make steel. But w when we have some steel, we will be able to automate that feature because we will be able to upgrade this to a more advanced one. Now I basically just want to make the same thing over here, but first I need to make some more coke oven blocks. So let me just do that and I'll be right back with you again. Okay, so I now have enough to multiply what we have here or over here, or not multiply, copy, sorry. Um, you might be asking why on earth do you need two? Well, efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to, but we really need steel. You need steel quite a bit from what I have understood in this. So I want to have and be able to make just enough. So now we do the same thing with the chest and the conveyor belt. We move it out. We place a chest in the middle and we take the conveyor belts and we do this and redirect it right into the chest. And then we create the blast furnace over here like so. Again, fill it all out. There we go. Cool. And smack it in the middle with the hammer. And there we go. Awesome. That is now set up. Now we need to be able to extract the crystal oil from the coke oven into, um, into the fluid tank here. So for that, we need fluid pump. We need the engineer's hammer and we need the fluid pipes. So, and some building blocks. So right now we need to just get up here. We need to place the pump. Now if you if I place the pump here, if you notice that blue dot right there, that indicates that this is input. So whatever is down here beneath the pump will be um I'll put it into this pump or input it into this pump. It will go into the pump basically. So what I need to do, which I was struggling with quite a bit, was that I need to right click with the hammer on the side that I want to change to the output. So if I just go over here, as you can see, this now accepts fluids and this outputs fluids and this is just blank again. So I need this side right here to be orange. So now I just need to hold shift and place these fluid pipes over like so. It will connect to the pump. I will go up, I will place it here and then go all the way over like so. These are now connected. Oh, don't do that. We don't need that. This will now automatically, actually we, sh we might need a lever. I'm not sure if we will need a lever to turn it on. I don't remember, but only one way to find out. We'll test that in just a bit. But let me just put some lighting up around here so that we don't have any nasties spawning around here. There we go. So now we just basically need to do that on the other side as well. Just go up here place the pump and these don't need power by the way, which is the amazing part about this. So output, it is automatically blue on the bottom. So just do this, this, and like that. That's that. Simple as that really. Okay, so she's playing with conveyor belts. That's fun. I think that it's now time for us to test 
if our project here works because it's not done. It takes up a lot of resource gathering, but then when you're done, it's pretty straightforward. If we hadn't got this, they do have their internal fluid system, which we could then input buckets or glass bottles here and it would fill them up. But this is just nice to have so that we could have a whole lot of it um, to fill this up with and then take it from this when we need it instead of having it in here. I think we're done. I think it's test time. So let us go ahead and get all of the stuff that we need. This is actually slower than just walking and running. Um, but let us just get all of the coal here. As you can see, we have some blocks of coal and I'm going to convert that into normal coal. We don't need to do it, but I want the normal coal coke. So let us just go ahead and do this. So put in a stack there, put in a stack here. And this is now going, as you can see, it takes a while. Unfortunately, it does take quite a bit of time, but it is well worth it. Let me just convert these into that like so. And you should be able to now see once this is done, a coal coke coming out of this into the chest. So I'm gonna just wait for that to happen. All right, so you should see in just a moment, this is now done and we should see it come right out there and boop into the chest and it is now here in the chest. So this is now working. We should also have another one in here. And again, there's no way of automatically putting it into this blast furnace. Um, yet, but when we have some steel and upgrade this thing, we will be able to in the future. But now we just gotta, oh yes, okay, so this, <laughs> okay, so we do need some levers on this, which is, yeah, it's it's simple. So as you can see here, when I right click, it says crystal oil 500 out of 64,000 when I put a lever on here, boop, and turn it on. You will see it go out and it will now be in here. We don't need a lever on here. That's that's not necessary. So we do need a lever to turn it on. There we go. It is now stored in here. I don't know if there is a liquid measure, measurement thingy where you can see how much is in there, but I know it's in there and we should be able to, if we have a glass bottle, we should be able to right click the thing and fill it up. So let's just do that just before we call it an episode. Ah, so when I hold the glass bottle, it says how much is in there. So when I right click it, it fills up the crystal bottle. Cool. All right, but that is pretty much it for this video and episode of Lands of Essentia, episode two. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And also follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server link down below. Also, of course, check out our Tells channel link down below in the description. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.